Around the globe, U.S. Air Force aircraft fly into harm's way. Laser weapon systems offer air crews an unprecedented capability to protect themselves and other assets and increase overall combat effectiveness. Lockheed Martin is bringing this capability to the warfighter sooner rather than later. Texaco 5-1 on station as fragged, five hours of playtime. We're applying our decades of experience in developing relevant technologies, like a network of tactical infrared sensors that passively detects and tracks threats to aircraft operating in the area. Paired with proven acquisition and tracking algorithms and a reliable and producible laser pod to take those threats out. Mexico 51 surface launch bullseye to 7015. Viper 1 searching surface launch bullseye to 7015. Viper 2 target hostile bullseye 36020 42000. Viper 2 Texaco 51 airborne missile launch bullseye 36020 42000. Viper 2, target air launch. Viper 1, targeted surface launch. Bullseye 09020, high, fast. Viper 2, targeted. Viper 1, engage surface launch. Lazing. Viper 1, splash, surface launch missile. Bullseye 090, 140. Viper 2, engaged air launch. Viper 2, lazing. Viper 2, splash, air launch missile, bullseye 080, 120. Texaco 51, threats faded. Established backing track as frag. At Lockheed Martin, we know combat aircraft. We know how to integrate and manufacture tactical pods that perform in harsh environments. And when it comes to laser weapon systems, we're proving ourselves in the lab and in the field from detect to defeat all the way down the kill chain. So when our customers are ready to roll, we're right there with them. to integrate our laser weapon system, Athena, into the classified C2 network and receive cues from the radar on the range in order to execute the full kill chain. The Helios laser weapon system builds on 40 years of combat system engineering and radar excellence. That is a fundamental change for laser weapon systems, which here to date have been prototypes added to a ship. Helios will be integrated into the ship. So what's exciting about this technology is that it's scalable. It's lived in the laboratory for many years, but it's finally reached the power levels and the effectiveness to allow it to be used on the battlefield. As an example, today's laser weapon systems can be used to defeat rockets, artillery, mortars, and even small UAVs. And as that technology and capability scales, the effectiveness scales with it. We'll be to the point here shortly where we'll be able to defend aircraft against incoming missiles and even reach out over long distances and destroy ballistic missile threats. 
Laser weapon systems are earning their way onto the battlefield. Lockheed Martin advancements in the fundamental subsystems, be it beam control, high energy laser, beam direction, power and thermal, is bringing a system of system approach to our customers' most challenging problem. Lockheed Martin can bring that end-to-end -end capability into the theater for the life of our platforms and help defend the brave women and men who boldly go in harm's way to defend our freedoms. <laughs>